I've got my calculator, something to write with, should have had that. Objective one with a practice pH calculation. If we are asked to calculate the pH of a solution given a hydrogen ion concentration, it really is as easy as hitting for the negative log of the value provided for the hydrogen ion. Negative log of H plus gives us pH directly. And in our first objective, one of the first things I notice is that it's a match. Asked to calculate the pH, given the hydrogen ion directly, we'll just hit negative log. We'll decide if the solution is acidic, basic, or neutral by looking at the pH and seeing where it lies on our pH scale. So we know acids have a pH below 7, bases have a pH greater than 7, and the only time a, a solution is considered neutral is if it's exactly 7.00. In our first equation, we'll hit for the negative log of 2.5 E negative 5, and I find a pH of 4.60. You'll hear me stress two decimal places to earn our credit for pH, so even though this is a zero in the second position, I will include it there, 4.60. That value lies below 7, which indicates an acidic solution. Hitting for number two, the negative log of 3.9 E negative 9 shows a value with two decimal places, 8.41. That value is above the 7, so it is considered a base. In our third example, negative log of 5.2 E negative 11 gives us a pH of 10.28 pH units above 7 indicates a base. And one more in this, we have negative log of 1.8 E negative 2 gives us a pH of 1.74, which indicates a very acidic solution. So with each one of these calculations, just straightforward, we called that a match. Hydrogen ion gives me the pH directly. In the second objective, we're being asked to calculate a pH, but we're given hydroxide ion concentration. If I negative log a hydroxide, we get something known as the pOH. If I want to turn the hydroxide ion into a pH, we are simply going to use the, the value of 14 minus the pOH. So just recall, the sum of a pH and pOH gives us the value of 14, the top of our pH scale. So the key sequence I use for objective two, and again, there's a lot of correct key sequence. This is just the fewest key strokes. I hit 14 minus, and then I go parenthesis, negative log of 7.9 E negative eight. And what I've done with that key sequence is taken 14 minus the pOH, and when I hit enter, I get the pH directly. Now I'll round to get two decimal places. 6.90 gives us the pH, and that is slightly acidic, just below 7. Hitting again for the letter B, I would hit 14 minus, and then I do the parenthesis, negative log of 1.9, E negative 4, 14 minus the pOH of our solution turns it into a pH, and we get 10.28 pH units. And that number is above 7, so we call it basic. Letter C would have us do 14 minus, and then again a parenthesis. The negative log of 6.2, E negative 13. The 14 minus the pOH gives us a pH reading of 1.79, and that's quite acidic. In the last one in objective two, we have 14 minus, and then I hit parenthesis, negative log of 7.8, E negative seven, and that takes the 14 minus pOH, and I would hit to find 7.89, and that's slightly basic. Again, the only time we would record neutral is if it's 7.00. Our third objective has us calculating the hydrogen ion concentration from
from a pH. I notice this is a direct match. This problem has us use 10 to the negative pH to find the hydrogen ion. If I'm asked to pull out the concentration from a pH, we use the base of 10 and raise it to the negative pH value. So modeling our number 9. 10, and then I hit the caret key, 10 raised to the negative pH value of 4.6. And I'm finding 2.51 times 10 to the negative fifth. Please be sure to record the unit there as the molarity, big M. Number 10 has us raised 10 to the negative pH value of 12.9. And I found 1.26 times 10 to the negative 13th molar units. 10 raised to the negative 2.7 pH units has a concentration of 0 .00199, I think I'll round to 2, 0 .002 molar. And one more here, 10 raised to the negative 13th pH units gives us a value of 1 times 10 to the negative 13th molar concentration. So in our third objective, we're simply hitting 10 raised to the negative pH units. If we're given hydroxide ion as the target, and I have a pH of a solution. What I would do is raise my power of 10, and knowing that we have to take for hydroxide 14 minus the pH. So the formula I would use to turn my pH into pOH concentration is 14 minus its value. So if I hit for number 13, I take 10 raised to the, and I hit negative first, then a parenthesis, 14 minus 8.6. What I'm doing inside of the parenthesis is changing a pH into a pOH, which then gives us the hydroxide ion concentration. And I find 3.98 times 10 to the negative sixth molar units. Same strategy for number 14, 10 raised to the negative, then the parenthesis for 1.9, whoops, 14 minus 1.9, and that changes pH into pOH, and we get a value of 7.94 times 10 to the negative 13th molar units. In number 15, 10 raised to the negative 14 minus 12.7. I find 0 0.05 molar units. And one more for number 16, same strategy, 10 raised to the negative, 14 minus 1.7. Again, inside the parentheses, what we're doing is changing pH into pOH and pulling out the hydroxide value, 5.01 times 10 to the negative 13th molar units. The last of this objective models a molarity problem with a pH. It's good to remember that the molarity is given to us as moles per liter. I'm going to make a note of that. Molarity is moles per liter. We need this concentration to stand for the hydrogen ion to pull out a pH value. So looking at the first example, if we have 25 grams of hydrochloric acid, dissolved in 1.5 liters. We need to do a molarity problem first to find the concentration of the acid ion before we can negative log. 25 grams of HCl. The molar mass given to us is 36.5, and what I'll do is hit 25 divided by the molar mass, and we get the number of moles to be 0.68 moles of HCl. I'll put that over the value of the volume, 1.5 liters. So big M, 0.4, I'll just round 0.457 molar concentration of HCl. This is an acid, so we can hit for pH by taking negative log of 0.457 molar. So pH, I just go negative log of the answer, and we've got 0.34 pH units. 
In the previous problems, we were given the molarity. These are really the same type of calculation. We just have to work a molarity problem first. Grams over molar mass pulled out the moles. Moles per liter got us molarity. Molarity of the acid gives us directly the pH of our solution. So negative log the big M, and it gives us the pH of our solution. Number 18, I believe, is the same because we're given an acid in that solution. If the pH of a solution is determined by putting 1.32 grams of nitric acid, HNO3, into 740 milliliters of water. First thing we'll do is convert our grams into a mole, and I'll do that by adding a molar mass. I get 63 grams per mole. So 1.32 divided by our mole number gives us 0 0.021 moles of nitric acid. I'll divide that by the volume of water, 0.74 liters, and I'll find then the molarity of our solution. And when I do that, I get 0 0.0283 molar. And that's the concentration of our acid solution. Since we're in an acid solution, pH can be found directly by taking the negative log of the concentration of the acid. I'll hit negative log of my answer, and my screen is saying 1.547, so let's make that two decimals. 